If you're a React developer, you know about the craze for concurrent rendering and the new version of React, React 18, which introduces support for that and suspense and a lot more new features. But this made React a little bit more complicated and would probably break a lot of code of people. Here's why. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. Earlier, let's say if you had a component, let me just go ahead and create a quick playground on React and let's just explore in that. Earlier, if you want to create a component in React and if you want to run something once, you will put a use effect with an empty dependency array and you'll just write stuff in it, right? For example, if I want to run something only one, I would create this use effect with the empty array. And I'll just say this runs only on mount, right? And if I do this, you're gonna see when this page reloads, or you know, just make sure to include the proper imports also. There we go. So when this happens, you see that this runs only on mount, only fires once, and then we go about our business. With React 18, in order to achieve this behavior, you'll have to do something different. You can see in package.json, currently we are using React 17 in this, so that's why it's working fine. When you upgrade to React 18, this will actually start firing twice, not once, in development mode. And the reason for that is because concurrent rendering can potentially on the production fire this code one or two times because the way it works the way concurrent rendering can be interrupted by user events something like this could be fired twice which breaks a lot of developer experience which breaks a lot of apps because this is a very common behavior of something like component dead mount where people just wait for the initial mounting of the component and then just set or you know run some things However, React 18, if you want to achieve this, you have to get a use ref. So you have to import use ref, something like this. Then you would have to say, okay, let me just comment this out. Then you have to say something like ref use ref or is mounted, something like this. Then you will have to say is current is equal to true. And then you'll also have to check that if it is already mounted, then just return and then run your stuff over here. This is what they say. So, I mean, not the best way to run things because this makes it much harder to read and much harder to maintain and much harder to even work with not even just as a beginner but as a someone who has been working with react it's just easy to forget when you're writing things in concurrent mode that this is how you're supposed to do for this what react team is doing is they are introducing a new hook an rfc for that hook called as use event now this use event hook what this would do is that it would allow you to only keep the dependencies which are truly dynamic in the dependencies array and move rest of the code inside of a function which would be initialized by use event so long thing short what react is saying that if you have some console logs or you know if you have some alerts going on over here what you ideally want to do is if it does not concern your dependencies or even if you have some state variable or something which you do not bother that they are changing so it should rerun you should just cut that you a new hook called use event and this accepts a function paste all of that stuff over here this will return you a kind of like a function like object and you can run that thing over here directly you can also pass parameters you know state parameters whatever is required and then just go about your business this is what react team is recommending but again like i said this is the first time i mean with all the progress in react and everything i feel like this is like going one step back because i love hooks i love react but this is something which which really makes it hard for especially newcomers to understand why we are doing what we are doing in react a lot of things because it's a declarative framework a lot of things are not clear up front why we are doing what we are doing but still the logic of state being the single source of truth for the ui for example that could be a solid statement is okay to understand that whenever you change the state your ui gets changed why do i have to use use event over here inside of a function write stuff here and then call it instead of just writing it directly why does this function call is called twice a lot of questions like this would pop up with react's concurrent mode react 18's concurrent mode and uh, yeah i mean it's it's just it just feels like that react has gotten a little ugly on this front because of this change now let's also try to understand why this is happening exactly on the code level so you see what react 18 did is that it allowed 
or it it tried to implement a functionality where it wants to preserve the state of a ui of or of, of a component even if it is unmounted right so that whenever somebody for example this example whenever a user taps away from the screen and back react immediately shows the previous screen so if you go back and forth with this you don't have react running the whole javascript tree and then mounting it on the screen and doing all sorts of work you know just restoring the state and doing everything from scratch instead you know not restoring it just creating state everything and from scratch instead what react does is that we'll just slam the previous component exactly again with the same state and everything but the problem here is that this is how react was supposed to work this is how it works right now and this is how it works in strict mode in development in react 80. now the reason in development they always run the effects twice is because react mounts the component react simulates the effect of being destroyed on a mounted component that means you know your component is unmounted and then it remounts it with the you know same state but it runs the effects again so you can see effects of the setup codes are run twice in development mode in react 18. in production it will on a good day just run once but it could run twice so it's a it's kind of like a race condition if you ship your code which has breaking effects on you know running the effects twice so you don't want that that is why you would have to be careful on when you upgrade to react 18 and you have behaviors like this because you don't want to break your app for people who are navigating your app right so yeah i mean this is this is bad for existing code bases because it's a breaking change which you cannot just directly upgrade to and it's kind of like inconvenient as a developer also like remembering and understanding this whole flow before it with react so react is heading into that space where of course it brings great performance thanks to concurrent rendering and everything which the team is doing but it's also making sure that the theoretical knowledge in order to know in order to start working with react is more because you can start working with react with your eyes closed but it will be like you are mugging up things if you're not at least understanding on a basic level how things are working you will not be a great developer and once you start doing that with react it's a rabbit hole almost at this point so yeah i mean that's that's basically it react has come a long way and I hope that there would be cleaner solutions for this going forward. Use um, this new hook which we have. I always forget its name. Use event. This is one new thing. So let's see how this plays out. But yeah, I mean, React has far too large market share, at least for now, to go down. So that's not happening. But let's see what the future holds. So yep, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching